Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. And it is Thursday night, and I had spoken with you guys earlier about my trip to the Walmart dentist. Well, it was a beautiful facility, and I did not know this, but this is the first Walmart with a healthcare center ever. So, you won't be seeing another one like it until they find out how well it works. So, it was, an, it was a great experience. They were very friendly and nice. Uh, that Walmart has a pharmacy, a health care facility, an eye clinic, a uh, hearing, dental. It has everything. It's amazing. And they even have a veterinarian on the other side of the store. So I asked the girl, I was like, so, you know, why did you choose, why did they choose this area to be the very first Walmart? I didn't know it was the very first Walmart until I asked the lady when I walked in the door. She was like, no, this is the only one. And I was like, oh, but apparently she said that Sam Walton's dream was to bring health care to those, um, to everybody uh, at, a, at a, you know, a more affordable rate. And so this is the first um, healthcare facility in a Walmart. So that's pretty wild, isn't it? And she said that Dr. Oz was there last week to um, for the grand opening. Now, I don't know if y'all watched Dr. Oz and if you've seen that or not, but that was our Walmart. What about that? So, um, and then the little girl that came in to work on my teeth, one of them, really recognized me and she couldn't figure out why she recognized me and I told her about the show and she watched the show and she knew all about the show. She was so excited because um, she had seen me on Family Food Fight. So anyway, thankfully um, my tooth wasn't so bad that they couldn't put it off long, you know, for a little while. I had to go back on the 30th. They did all of my x-rays, a CT around my head of my teeth, cleaned my teeth, examined my teeth, and made sure I didn't have any, um, you know, like when they make sure you don't have gingivitis or whatever. And it was $25 for the visit and $25 to have my teeth cleaned. Is that not crazy? I was so excited. But now, for them to fix my bad um, tooth, of course, that's going to cost a lot more. Um, it's, if, uh, they put a cap on, it's $795 because it is cracked and it does have a really deep filling in it. And he said, if I need a root canal, that'll be another $694. So, but you know, that's how it is. I mean, when you get a crown and you get a root canal, it's always expensive like that. And we don't have insurance. So, um, I got a, I got an appointment scheduled for the 30th to get that done. So it should be fine when we're in St. Mary's next week. With that said, I didn't get, I didn't get home until 755. Um, I also went into the Walmart and they had just put signs on their smokers and grills and they, the, at all the, the ones they had signs on that were already, um, put together were 50% off. So I called Chris and um, he wanted the bigger smoker because he got a green egg when he retired, but it's really small. I can, you can't even put a rack of ribs on it um, without part of them getting burnt because it's just too little. And uh, since we're cooking for the church sometimes, um, he, he wanted the smoker. So I got a $300 smoker for him for $148. So I thought that was really nice. So I'm sure you guys will see that in a video. I'm sure he'll cook on it when he gets home. Um, we made those butt roasts the other night for our class and we were we couldn't even smoke them the whole time. They were okay, but they weren't as tasty as they normally are because we had to smoke them, uh, like take turns smoking them and then cook part of them in the oven. So he'll be really excited to get that smoker. Um, so oh, I can go get what I bought yesterday if you want to see it, or I can just take y'all in there uh, and let you see what I bought yesterday. 
because it's sample. I got me a dress, Chris, a, a button up top and some shorts. And um, I got me a rolling pin. And hopefully I'll get to edit some of that video tomorrow and show y'all some of that uh, thrift store footage. Um, our, I want to show you what I bought after the Bible lesson. How's that? So anyway, everything was great. I've just been so busy this week. I ain't got a whole lot done otherwise. Um, tonight we read, or today we read about Isaac and um, Abraham. And this is the part where Abraham, the, everybody knows the um, story where Abraham goes up on the mountain to sacrifice Isaac and even has Isaac carry the wood, I believe. And um, and then when he gets up there, God, an angel appears and says, Oh, Abraham, no, no, you don't have to do this. But since you were faithful enough to listen, I will be blessing, you know, you and your offspring and that your son will be through your son all the nations will be blessed and we know that eventually Jesus Christ comes from all of that and that's why all the nations were blessed but at the time um, it was just little old Isaac and his daddy and then once we flip over after that um, I don't like to really concentrate a whole lot on that because I think that's really difficult that was a difficult chapter for a man to try to sacrifice his son so um so that was chapter 22 and in chapter 23 sarah dies and abraham asks can he bury sarah um on the land where he you know where they're um dwelling and he they actually want to give him the land, but Abraham insists on paying for the land, and he buries Sarah. Well, Isaac is really grieved in his heart over his mother dying, and Abraham decides that it's time to find him a wife. And so he talks to his favorite, well, his right-hand man, I guess you'd say, like the, the man that is in the, uh, that does all these I guess you'd say, let's see, it's his servant that does the most for him and that he trusts the most. So his number one servant, I guess you'd say. He has a name. I just, anyway, um, he sends him to get a wife for Isaac. And Abraham doesn't want a Canaanite wife. He wants him to have a wife from his people mainly because they were known for, you know, for being wicked and he didn't want a woman to influence Isaac when he knew God had plans for Isaac. So he sends this servant to his hometown or his homeland to find Isaac a wife. And Isaac, oh, he tells the servant, you know, um, that he's going to bless him and all this to go get him a wife. And the servant's like, well, why, what if she won't follow me home? And Abraham said, well, you know, if she's the woman for Isaac, she's going to come. And so one thing we find out here is that Abraham trusts God to send Isaac a wife. And not only does Abraham trust God, but his servant does as well because um, before his servant goes to the well where all the women, it was time for all the women to be drawing water, the servant prays to God, which shows that um, he, he believed in the same God that Abraham did. Apparently, Abraham had shown him the ways of God and had shown him that prayer, you know, prayer was important because the servant did the same thing. And he prays to God and he goes to the well and I'm going to read what what uh, Rebecca says. It says, um, let me flip over. Before he had spin, finished speaking, and this was when he, when he was praying to God, uh, behold, Rebekah, who was born to Bethuel, the son of Melchah, 
the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, came out with her water jar on her shoulder. The young woman was very attractive in appearance, a maiden whom no man had known. She went down to the spring and filled her jar and came up, and then the servant ran to meet her, and he said, Please give me a little water to drink from your jar. And she said, Drink, my lord. And she quickly let down her jar upon her hand and gave him a drink. And when she had finished giving him a drink, she said, I will draw water for your camels also until they have finished drinking. So she quickly emptied the jar into the trough and went to get more for the camels. This is exactly what the servant had asked in his prayer would happen. And the same thing happened. So it's very evident to him that this must be the girl. Um, and so he asked her who her family was and he finds out it's Abraham's family. And he's so excited that God would answer his prayer so quickly. So he puts a ring, he gives her a ring, he gives her jewelry. She takes him uh, back to her, her home because he asks, could they spend the night? And he tells her brother um, the plans that Abraham has for Isaac's, you know, him a wife. And they're all happy. And they uh, do believe that it's, you know, divine and that that it was, in, you know, that God is, um, has instructed them to come and get her. So the next day they get up and he's ready to leave. And they're like, no, don't take her yet. Let her stay another week. And her mama wants her to stay another week. And he was like, no, I must go. And so they asked Rebecca, would she go? And she said, I will go. And so Rebecca goes. Now, this is beautiful. After Isaac has lost his mother, that um, he was out in the field. And I really don't even know if Isaac knew what his daddy had planned. I don't know that he would have told him because what if it didn't work? So when they were headed back towards there, um, when they get within sight distance of Isaac, Isaac comes out to meet them. She jumps off the camel and says, who is this coming to meet us? And he lets her know that it's Isaac. So she puts the veil over her face, and um, he tells Isaac what has happened, and Isaac takes her for a wife, and it says that it really helped him, um, because, you know, with the grieving of his mother to have Rebecca. So that was a very nice story. I always love that story. Uh, that one is just beautiful to me, and then the story of Ruth later on is beautiful as well. So it's a wonderful love story, um, divinely appointed by God, the two people that were supposed to be meant together, um, that start, you know, these plans for uh, this um, lineage that will be such a blessing to all the nations, right? So I'm excited about that. It was a nice Bible reading. Um, our next reading will be uh, Abraham's death. It's chapter 25. Chapter 26 is God promises, makes promises to Isaac. And 27, Isaac blesses Jacob. So we'll do the next three chapters. Hopefully tomorrow I will be here. Now, um, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm going to run and get the things that I bought real quick. I'll just take y'all into the living room. How's that? I'm the only one up. So, we'll just go in here and take a look. Oh, the dogs are up too. I haven't put them to bed. Oh, look. Marcy, can you say hello? Can you say hello? And this is Happy. Yes, Happy. I said your name. Okay. Amy got a senior t-shirt, and she's going to give this one to her dad. Wait a minute. Let me fix it. It was so funny, y'all. She's class of 2020, okay? And when she opened it up, I said, Amy, she said, why does it have two X's on it? 
And I said, Amy, the Roman numerals, 10 and 10 is 20. It's class of 2020. She said, oh, I said, oh, well, I wonder how many blondes said that when they opened up their shirt today. Ha, ha, ha. She's a redhead. She was so embarrassed. But this is the shirt I got Chris that was on sale. It's got, like, little boats on it and palm trees. Isn't it cute? And so I got him this shirt. And I got him these nice shorts. And they're supposed to, you know, be nice. All right. Then I got two of these. They are kind of like, I guess you could call them placemats. But I'm going to decorate with them on the table. On my um, turntables, you know. I'll show you. So, I'm going to use these. I went ahead and put my turkey in here. See her? That I showed y'all the other day. But I'm going to... So I'm going to use this as like a, on my round turntables. I'm going to put one under the turkey, actually. I just hadn't done it yet. I guess we could do that right quick. Come here, little lady. She's a big lady. Whoop! She's a heavy turkey. But see how pretty it looks, y'all? Isn't that pretty? Got that at Kohl's. And they were only $4.50 a piece with my, um... What you call it? Coupon. Oh, and I was telling y'all about all that bubble gum I got. There's all that bubble gum I got. I'm going to have it for Halloween. All right. Now, the next thing I got that was really, really pretty, I think I took it in my room. So, y'all going to have to come in my room. And I took a nap today. I made up my bed, y'all. But then I didn't, um, I took a nap and I didn't look. I didn't make it back up. Sorry. But this is the dress I bought. It's so pretty. It's a swing dress. Isn't it pretty? And it's got fall colors on it. And it's it's got, I mean, like it's uh, the white part is like a paint. So it's kind of a puffy. And it's just a swing dress. I thought it was really pretty. Isn't that pretty? So, that's what I got me. And I got these for my pastor's wife because she don't hardly have any serving spoons. And so, when I went to Aldi's the other day, they had these serving spoons. And so, see, they're Crofton. That's the Aldi brand. So, I got her some serving spoons. Got that yesterday. What else did I get, y'all? Um... I think I got one more thing. Let me think, think, think. Oh, my rolling pin. At the thrift store, I got a rolling pin. And that's all I got yesterday. But here it is. Isn't it pretty? It's heavy. Oh, and tomorrow morning, I'll show y'all what I'm going to make on YouTube Live. I was going to do it. But, y'all, by the time I got home, I was just too tired. I want to do several things tomorrow. I promise. I don't have any other plans except to cook tomorrow. Praline pumpkin mousse. I'm going to make that tomorrow. I think it sounds good. Okay? So, I, if y'all want to take a snapshot of that, get the ingredients. Y'all can do it with me live. I'm going to be on YouTube. It's going to have cold milk, pumpkin, vanilla pudding, pumpkin spice, Cool Whip, Pecans, margarine, and brown sugar. So, I'm, I'm going to make mine and put them in these. I already got two out for my video. Okay? Oh, and look, I told you I was going to do some crackling cornbread. I'm going to do that too. Here's my cracklings I bought. Chris got those before he left and having used them. I hadn't even finished using them. Oh, oh, and I got this the day before. Remember I told y'all I went out with Amy and we got this pumpkin at Bell's and um, it was $9 and then I got these little pumpkins to go with it on the sides. I thought it was pretty to go in my window. Um, and I did get this today. I, you can tell I have it. Yankee Candle. I got that at Walmart when I was at Walmart. Susan, I got my rolling pin for $7, and look, I need to empty my dishwasher. They're clean. I just got to empty it. Y'all could see how messy I am. I 
just made tea and I used this to make my tea. I, I used it the other day and the tea was really good. So I used it again. I like it. I like it a lot. I just made tea. See? Um. Oh, y'all. I've got some stuff up here we need to do something with. We need to cook. I've got chicken broth and I've got um, this is from our butt roasts. So it's going to have a ton of flavor. Look how much fat's on the top of it. But I need to make some kind of stew or soup or something with that stuff. It's going to be really good. Anyway, um, that's it in a nutshell, y'all. I guess that's everything I've gotten lately that I can think of to show y'all. So hopefully I'll have a good productive day in the kitchen tomorrow before Chris comes home. And if I get a lot of videoing done, then um, I'll be ahead so that when we go to St. Mary's, because when we go to St. Mary's, I won't be cooking. Um, and I'll be gone for about three or four days. So hopefully I can get several things done and um, tomorrow. I'm tired tonight. So um, I guess we really need to say our prayers. I'll let y'all see my little fur babies right quick first. Here's one laying on my fall pillow. That I've had that these pillows for three years now, and when I went downstairs, they weren't in my package stuff, so I got them. Can you say hello, Soda? There's that pumpkin. The only thing I could find that I didn't show y'all the other day were these two pillows. And this um, cat right here was my mama's, and she lights up and has, um, like, you can plug her in, you know, and she has all those different colors. And she was my mama's, and that's the only thing I found, y'all. My Halloween decorations have disappeared. What do you say, Marcy? Can you say, hello, everybody. My name is Marcy. And I love donuts. Where's your donut? Oh, here's their donut. They love this donut. I bought this donut the other day. And I got it at one of the discount stores. And they love it. She's so funny when she picks it up because she's so little. You want to pick it up for them? Say no. I could put that on her head. All right. So, I guess we'll say our prayers. There's my turkey all lit up. That Chris thinks is so ugly. Well, anyway, we'll say our prayers right quick. And um, I hope y'all have a good night tonight. I hope you get nice, wonderful rest. And, um, hey, sweetie. And, um, let's say our prayers, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for today. And we thank you for um, all the many blessings that you've given us. We thank you for the storms and the victories and triumphs. Um, I pray for those out there, Lord, that um, are going to miss you. Not miss you, but miss their loved ones during the holiday seasons and those that are hurting and those who are sick, and those who aren't as fortunate as we are. I pray for those that are out there that may, those I, I always feel for the children out there, Lord, that are been, being mistreated and abused. Um, I pray that you would somehow comfort them the only way you would know how to comfort them. Um, be with all of those in need and help all of us see how blessed that we are because there's so many out there suffering and going through things um, that, and we should have empathy on them and not just focus on ourselves. Um, help us to see how much you love us and show other people how much your love means to us. Spread your love. Um, just be with each and every one of us in the hope that we can all come back here and talk about you again tomorrow night. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
All right, y'all have a good, sweet dream night. Right, happy? I'll let y'all see my little pups. I just love dogs. Well, I don't know what I'd do without my little munchkins. Say hello. Happy is the best dog. Happy is the most obedient dog. Happy is the oldest dog. She is... She, I got her in 2010, the year I had cancer. Happy, you're not even looking at the camera. She's hard to see because she's all black. But she's getting old enough now that she's getting some gray on her. So, yeah, I'm getting a little older. And this one right here is two years younger than, than Happy. She's a 2008 doggy. Happy's a 2010 doggy. And that little one over there... She's mean as a rattlesnake. She's a 2006 doggy. Oh, I'll let you see me put them to bed. That's what I ought to do tonight. Just because it's different. Come on, girls. Let's go do our job. Let's go do our job so y'all can go to bed. I'll show y'all how I put them to bed. I don't know why she's snorting today. Come on, let's go. Y'all got to go potty first. She's been snorting today. I don't know what she's done. All right. Go. Listen to the cricket, y'all. I've only got one light that still works out here on this. Y'all probably won't be able to see nothing down there. Nope. I'll let y'all see. I wish y'all could see the stars. I bet this thing's got a night vision. All right, we'll go in here and wait on them. And when they come in, I'll show y'all how they go to bed every night. They're so good. Let's turn off the lights. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to bed? Are you ready? Are you ready, Soda? They're ready, Mama. There's Soda. She's ready. Come on, Marcy, get in. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I hit you, didn't it? Get in. All right, and every night I give them a treat. And uh, it's a milk bone treat. It's a morning milk bone treat for joints. I just put them in this big, I buy a bunch of them and I put them down in there. But that's really not what that is. They don't really like those as much. These are the ones that have glucosamine in them. So they get one when they go to bed at night. And they get one in a, um, when they go to bed in the mornings they get up to go to the potty. And they stay up long enough for me to pack up the cookbooks and have um, coffee. And then they go back to bed. My dogs are good. They are on a routine. So, um, then I let them out about lunchtime for about an hour. And then they go right back to bed until about 4 o'clock. And then they're up for the night. And then I put them to bed at night. Good dogs. So, just because you got a dog, I mean, I used to like to sleep with my dogs, but when you get three dogs, you can't do that, or I don't do it. Now, um, so mine have always been crated, even Happy. When Happy was by herself for the first year, two years that I had her, she slept with us. But once I got Marcy, I started crating them, and then, and then I had to add on the third one on the top later. And I'm never getting three dogs again at one time. It's too much trouble, y'all. It's too much trouble to bathe them and groom them and have to put them with somebody that keeps them and all that. But luckily, when we leave Monday, I'm closing my blinds. When we leave Monday to go on our trip, um, I got a house where we could take our dogs. So I have to make sure and get, you know, a house that I can take the dogs to. So 
But my dogs are crazy dogs, so they don't make a mess or nothing for people. Y'all have a good night. And hopefully we'll get to um, cook some tomorrow. And maybe I'll get some footage of that thrift store on because it had some cool things in it. Bye, y'all. Love ya.